Okay, hello and welcome back to my YouTube. I am Lorna, book lover Lorna. Obviously, you can see this is a booktube. You you know what we're about here, don't you? Um, and today I'm going to go through my TBR to be read for the rest of 2019, which I'm not gonna lie, I'm just looking at it. It's a lot of books for how much time I have to read. Mm. Let's just put it this way, it's optimistic. We'll, we'll see in a couple of months how much I actually managed to read because it's a lot, it's a lot. Right, okay, so we best get started. So what I'm reading at the moment is 12 Rules for Life, which I'll be honest, I'm not feeling the vibe. I've seen a lot of people on Instagram, particularly social media, being like, mm, yeah, absolutely love this book, it's amazing. I'm not really a, a person for books like this. I like to read a story, but I'm trying. I'm this far through. This is the side I've read. Um, we'll get there. You know, maybe if I just do like a chapter a day or something. They're long chapters though. And then I can read other things at the same time. I might, fin might finish it before the end of the year. I will, even if I just like, skim it. <gasps> How dare I say that as a book reader. Um, okay, so one that I want to reread before the end of the year is Handle With Care, one of my favourite books. I just think I haven't read it for two years or something and it's time that I gave it a bit of a reread. I'm trying to reread all of Jodie Peacock's books at the moment anyway. Um, I have got another one of hers. Ooh, the book stack is going to fall. Oh, please don't damage my books. It's okay, we're fine. It'll fall over in a minute. Um, Another Judy Peacock book I want to read before the end of the year is The Storyteller, um, which as I've said before, I haven't read it. This is the only one of hers that I've not read. It just, it's, I just dropped a book. I might cry. It's fine. It lived. So this one here, it is a chunky boy. That's why I haven't read it. Because chunky boys just take me, take me a while. But it's fine. You know, it, Maybe I really, really love it. I usually really love her books, but some of them I do get find a bit slow. It's usually the court parts that get me a little bit, but we'll get there. It's fine. It's fine. As long as I read it, I just need to read it because it's been on my shelf for so, so long. Okay, these two here I bought recently in Asda because you can't go shopping in Asda without going to the book section and buying some books. I'm trying to get away from my, oh, the sun's going inside, so we're changing colour. Oh, the camera does not know what's going on. Wow, it's got so dark. Um, so these ones here, I'm trying to get away from kind of like chick lit popular style books and maybe go for a bit more thriller. I think these are thrillers. Everyone has secrets. What if you can't remember yours? Ooh, I think that's a thriller. Your next must read page turner. This one says the political thriller of the decade, the president is missing. So I think they, they fit to the description of what I was looking for. And they, I thought they just looked kind of cool. So we have I Found You by Lisa Jewell and The President is Missing by Bill Clinton and James Patterson, who I've seen a lot around. So I assume that he's a good thriller writer. I'm such a bad book person for not reading thrillers. Sorry. Okay, so next we have Small Island by Andrea Levy, which was very kindly lent to me by my wonderful grandmother. Again, this is a chunky boy, so I'm going to need a lot to go into it mentally. But it is set around like World, World War Two time. It's kind of, I think it's kind of called midwife esque. Which I think could be, could be a winner. So that one before the end of the year, definitely need to read that one so I can actually give it back to my grandma. Um, okay, so I'm trying to tick off all of my Jojo Moyes books. So I'm going to say, I've read them all, I'll have read all the Jodie Peacock ones. What is the sun doing? Oh my god. Um, so I've got a few that I haven't read in like my whole bookshelf. So we have The Last Letter from Your Lover. Need to read that one. I just think that one seems... I just like the title of that. That just sounds intriguing. I just want to read it and I want to know more. We have Night Music, which I feel like 
oh no I take that back I've already read that I read that about three weeks ago <laughs> oops okay we'll take that one away that's one less for my TBR oh yeah I was thinking hmm, recognize that Ugh, shows how much attention I pay when I'm reading my books doesn't it okay so we're down to two Jojo Moyes books now and the horse dancer which sounds intriguing sounds good so we'll read that one and the last letter from your lover by the end of the year well I hope I will read it by the end of the year we'll see about that because two books for one author I think that's a lot. it's not a lot I just don't have time to read I wish I did I should probably be reading right now why, why am I doing this instead of reading valuable reading time okay so next one of the authors that I'm going my way through Lindsay Kelp so I'm working my way through the iHeart series um, and I just, I'm enjoying it so much that I just kind of want to rattle through them but I know I've got other books to read so I'm trying to spread them out and whatnot. The next one I've got is I Heart Vegas because I've read I Heart New York, Hollywood and Paris. So Vegas is next. Then I Heart London, which will be good because you know we're in the UK. Well, I'm from England but you know I'm currently in Wales but it's the UK, it's not very far from London. Only many hours and I Heart Christmas is the last one so I want to read this one around Christmas time so really I need to be October November December seems like a logical plan doesn't it I think so and these aren't particularly chunky books either so I could do those I reckon in three four days it could, it could work I mean if I had a whole day free I could just smash smash through one of them and it, it would be fine. I think those ones are quite easy though. I find them very easy to read. They don't really require much brain power from me. So we'll, we'll get those ones done. Um, so the next ones, I am a massive Disney fan. I mean, you can see here, we, we just have Disney things. Disney things everywhere. You know, always wearing a Disney t-shirt. I'm. We've got Eeyore today. You know, there's just a lot of Disney. So, I've been reading these Twisted Tale books. Um, I have read uh, As Old as Time, which is the Eating the Beast one, Reflection, which is Mulan, Mirror Mirror, which is Snow White, and Part of Your World, which was The Little Mermaid. That was a really good one. Um, so I've got to read the Aladdin one, A Whole New World, but not we're not putting that into 2019. That can go next year. Um, and then Once Upon a Dream, which is Sleeping Beauty. Um, and this is by Liz Braswell. I kind of want to read this before I go and see the new Maleficent. So read this, Maleficent 1 at home, Maleficent 2, or I can't remember what the technical title is for it, um, after that. But that would probably mean reading this quite soon, because I think Maleficent comes out in October the 18th, something like that. I don't know but we'll see if I can read that scene let's just maybe think maybe I need to bump it up the list a little bit we'll see um so we have that Disney book and then we have um I don't really know what these are I think they're kind of a background story to why the villains are the way they are I think I read the fairest of all one which was the I can't think of what she's called like the evil mother evil stepmother in Snow White that one was quite good I got through that quite quickly um but they they feel kind of rushed they feel really short but these they are really short books so I mean I don't know what I was expecting um so I want to read The Beast Within there he is look there he is within and there is the beast haha -ha. um that one is it's so small I mean 215 pages surely surely I can do that in like a day my day off work I reckon yeah and then we've also got mistress of all evil oh this is the Maleficent one oh. brainwave okay so I can read once upon a dream and then I could read the Maleficent book this is completely messing with the order I was going to read all of these books in shows up just reading talking through them makes me realize I could have a better action plan. 
And yeah, so essentially that one's about Maleficent. This one's a few more pages, 300. But it doesn't look like 300. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, they have really big writing. So I can't complain. I'll, I'll try and read it. I can just see so many of these just falling into 2020 now that I'm not gonna get them read this year. Ah, the impending book doom that we all put on ourselves. Hmm. Well, I put on myself anyway. So the next two books that I want to read in 2019, actually quite soon, I think. Um, this one, I'm not even sure if this first one is released yet, but I saw it on Instagram. I cannot for the life of me remember the account name. Um, and she said that she got it before it had even been released because Waterstones had it on the shelf. And I was like, oh, that's beautiful. So I added it to my basket and went and collected it the next day. Um, so it's The Places I've Cried in Public by Holly Bourne. And I mean, I don't know if you can see, I'm probably going to mess the camera up now. But no move out of the way. It's got like teardrops on it and it's just so cute. It's got these embossed, embossed? I think that's the word raised we'll go for raised raised embossed teardrops on it and i just think it's such beautiful colors and ta-da oh, i just love this so much i can't help but buy a book that looks like this mm. Mm. the book love um so that one i want to read want to read oh i'm getting so excited that i'm mumbling up with my words mumbling my words is all right. I'll slap me across the face in a minute. It's fine. Um, so this one I want to read quite soon. And then I also would like to read The Flat Share soon. This one I actually, uh, this is by Beth O'Leary. This one I actually um, came across in Waterstones. Oh look, the sun's coming back through the blind again. I've got lines on everything. I saw this in Waterstones and I was like, mm, it was it was half price or something. I thought, oh, that looks like quite a cool cover. So I picked it up and I, I saw, oh my gosh, again, I just cannot resist. I thought, oh, it looked kind of cool. And then I was taking it to the till because it was half price, I think. And then I read on the front, signed by the author. <laughs> Hello, it's going straight in my basket. So we ended up, I mean, it is a small signature, but still it's there. Just here, signed by the author. Oh, poor book. So I wanna read that quite soon because I've seen again a lot on Instagram where everyone's going, this is amazing. I just dropped a book. Why do I always drop books? Oh, it's okay. My floor's carpeted, it, it's fine. Um, so I'd like to read that really soon, but I mean, it is, again, it's very big. Well, 400 pages, but obviously it's the same size as my head. So it's going to take me a, a hot second, but we'll get that. I'm definitely going to read this before the end of the year. So that is my TBR pile for the rest of the year. That would take me way over my Goodreads target for the year, which is 50. And I'm currently, I don't know. I'm a little bit away from that considering how many months left we have of the year, but it's fine. I'm just gonna disappear now and start reading like a madman. It's fine. Get that book then, you know, it'll be okay. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Um, if you got any of these on your TBR, let me know down below. Please give it a like if you enjoy listening to my book ramblings because I sure do love talking about them. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. That went well.